This is Lagos. Ebony State Indigenous and their well wishers are here for the fourth Ebony Cultural Day. The Governor, His Excellency Dave Mwezumahe, his wife and the cabinet members made our time to come. The story of Nigeria is incomplete without a good mention of a born state. And a born man was the first governor of the eastern region of Nigeria. And a born man was also the first federal minister of education of Nigeria. A born state also produced the youngest Senate president who brought brilliance and glamour into the Nigerian Senate. A born state development association, the organizer of this event, gave Thumbs up to the governor. As I wish to command a state government under your liberal leadership for the numerous development strides in the state, which are evident in the current massive road constructions and maintenance, the healthcare transformation, the transformation of the agricultural sector, and improvement of flash production, employment of peace, human development, and general economic, social and infrastructure development in the state. In 20 years, Ebony State has had two administrators and three governors. We are people that are highly gifted. We are people with great potentials. People of great beauty and honesty. Our cultural values are based on who we are. People of integrity. This was a good opportunity to tell the governor about the plight of some Ebony indigenous who reside in Lagos. Ebony people in Lagos and elsewhere are being devastated by what I call social degradation. They refer to us particularly as street traders. Those I see in the street, I worship them. I adore them. They are entrepreneurs. They want to live. They don't want to burn. They don't want to steal. And therefore, all I know is that they need our support. My people, my people, have come as somebody God sent. That we may reason together. We are not condemning trading altogether. There are some of our big brothers and sisters that are in Lagos that are doing extremely very well on that trading. But we condemn in totality street trading. We have better offer to you back home. Everybody is no longer the same. Everybody is no longer the same. If one tenth on the investment of Fundibo in Lagos is reinvested in the East, it will have a tenfold effect on the economy of the Southeast. Engineer Omahe, you are doing very well. But on this issue, you are better equipped than most of your colleagues to set the example. And not only to set the example, but also to teach. As they work hard in Lagos, they were reminded to also contribute to their own quarter to the growth and development of a bunny state. When you stay here for a very long time, please come down to a bunny. Come down and help us develop the state. If you come to the state, the state is transformed. We need your support. We need your encouragement. Our governor is working. A bunny state is moving. We are going to have not been a bunny for some time now. Please, I invite you to please make time to come, to come down to our headquarters. Today we have headquarters. The governor gave a count of his stewardship. We have given education free in the land of Ebony. 
We are feeding our sons and daughters in boarding schools free. We have reintroduced agriculture in our schools. Peace is very essential. Peace is very important. We have brought peace to the land of Ejilo. The Ejilo people and Ezaishilo are now at peace. We are renovating the houses that were destroyed. We are also building new ones to accommodate the two brothers and sisters. I challenge everybody to tell me any consultancy in a body state that is not housing a project that is more than two to three billion. And there is none. A dinner was also organized. Heads of town unions and their spouses were invited. Other prominent Ebonians also graced the occasion which took place at Lily Gate Hotel at Lakey Face 1, Lagos. A Bonny State cultural troupe performed to the delight of the audience. Indeed, it was a time to unwind. They always say, even people love money so much. I don't be lying. Have you ever noticed when you enter the shop of an Igbo man, Igbo people does not joke with their business. When you enter the shop of an Igbo man, if they count money, or guy you greet and people answer you, continue from when stopping, don't make mistake. I think they count one, two, three, you enter. Or that you put the good afternoon, good afternoon, my brother. It will continue. Three, four, five, six, seven. How business now? Eight, oh, my brother, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What of your wife? Fourteen, oh, my brother, fourteen. Awards were given to deserving sons of the land. It was a night to wine, dine, and be happy.